Hi, it's Jess. I'm gonna show you how to create this decorative bead link with our super cute standing bear. This is an artisan pewter bead. Like the little fetish bear type bead. And I'm gonna use a turquoise heishi and our natural brass three inch head pin. So to create this bead link here at the top of um, my mama bear necklace kit, we're gonna use our amazing loop making pliers. I love designing with these loop making pliers because as you can see here, there's markings on the pliers so you can, can get a consistent size loop every time if you want to make, let's say a four millimeter loop or a six millimeter, it goes um, from two to eight. So starting with our three inch head pin, I'm just gonna use a flush cutter and clip off the flat end of the head pin. So now I have a three inch piece of natural brass wire. What we're gonna do is make a coiled loop at the bottom and then a wrap loop at the top. So we're gonna look for the two millimeter marking, which is right here, that line. And I'm gonna hold the wire on the very end, the tip of the pliers and I'm simply going to just start turning my wrist and allowing the end of the wire to line up beside the wire here and then grip down with the plier on that end and continue turning. So I have like two full revolutions going around. So two coils. And then we'll tuck in the chain nose plier, just grip it and tuck in that little sharp edge there. And that kind of will meet up with the bead anyhow. Okay, so now I have a coiled loop which will not open. and kind of has a decorative look to it. And then we'll go ahead and string this Hishi spacer that comes in the Mama Bear necklace kit. And then the Standing Bear bead. So we're gonna go ahead and Hold the wire up against that seven millimeter marking. Actually, I'm gonna bring it this way. I like it. I create it easier when it's on the top side. I'm gonna bend it a little bit this direction. Now I'm lining it up right on that mark. And now with the extra wire going to form it around right up against the bear. I'm just creating a wrapped loop. So I have a couple coils there. I'm gonna use now the chain nose pliers to grip that last little piece and bring it around one more time. And then go ahead and grip this and straighten out my loop. And clip any remaining wire. And then I always like to crimp um, that little edge of wire with my chain nose pliers so it's not rough on the edge. Okay, so now for the connection, these are the openings of loops are facing the same direction. So I'm going to go ahead and grip that coiled loop and just turn it so we have both loops facing the same way, like this. So I got this decorative little bead link to um, go on the top of the necklace with some other components from our Free Spirit collection. And I have some. 1.5 millimeter leather cord um, tassel I made with some glass beads and this cute mama bear pendant. And then you're simply just gonna add jump rings. I have a variety of jump rings here. Add a jump ring to the bottom of the coiled loop and then this nice large rope jump ring and two jump rings to the top loop to the ball chain. Super simple design. So you can check out my Grand Canyon color story on the Vintage blog.
for more details for this jewelry kit and more inspiration.